Hi guys. I am on. I'm just feeling like I'm really wanting to do videos today and get on social media and, and post different things. It's kind of one of those days it's really gloomy, kind of cloudy out today. And I'm just in the parking lot of Albertsons. I need to run in and get a few things. But first I wanted to post a video that I know a lot of people probably aren't going to like, for one. Um, and there might be some people who like it, but feel uncomfortable with it and whatever. And I only know this because this kind of stuff um, kind of used to sometimes bother me too. Um, but this should just cut to the chase, right? I have some dreams. I've been, God, since my son Tyler, many of you know, um, died of suicide two years ago. And since that time, um, also, some of you probably know that I'm a Christian and I believe in, in Jesus Christ. He's my savior, um, died for my sins and um, he's my Lord. And um, I can't wait to be with him. I know I say that a lot on some of my videos, um, but it's true. Uh, it only became that way just um, since my, time, my son died. I mean, I've always loved the Lord and wanted to be with him, but until Tyler died, I just have really felt compelled to want to learn more about heaven and, uh, you know, how much longer we have as Christians, as believers, before we are taken up to heaven with Jesus. Um, I know a lot of times this end of the world stuff scares people. It always did me. I was always one of those very scared people, even though I was a Christian, it still scared me to think of the end of the world. And then I also had thoughts of, oh my gosh, I want to be a grandma. I want to do this. I want to have this job. I want to, you know, be here longer, whatever. Um, even though I was a believer, I still felt that way. Um, but like I said, until my son died, my perspective on all of that has changed 100%. And I believe that you can still be a, a believer, a Christian, and have those feelings, you know, of sometimes of fear. I mean, it's this world, it, it, there's sin embedded in it. And so there is fear, like, you know, it doesn't mean just because you're a believer that you sometimes won't have experience sometimes the fear of the end of the world or, you know, be kind of uncomfortable with wanting to go to heaven quite yet. And it's like the fear of the unknown. You don't know what heaven's like. At least that was for me, um, a big part of it. But anyway, I'm gonna get to the point. Um, hopefully some of you haven't already tuned out, but you know what? God knows who's gonna watch. He knows who needs to hear this. Um, so I'm just trusting him. But uh, Tyler died two years ago. And about a month after he died, I got a vision from kind of an open vision from the Lord. And I know it was from the Lord because I can remember it as if I, two years later, as if I just read, received it. I can remember every detail of it. And I did post it on my, um, I have two channels. One of them is a wig channel where um, I talk a lot about wigs and stuff. And then the other is my Christian daily devotion channel. This um, video is gonna go on both. But on my, my wig channel, my faux hair fabulous channel, I talked about that vision I had of my son in heaven. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It looked just like him. I won't go into great detail because that's not the, the thing I wanna talk about in this video. But he was beautiful. He still looked the same. He still looked like Tyler, but it was just, he looked so much pure, more pure, more white. And I say white like as in like clean, you know, like his dirty, normal dirty blonde hair was, like it was when he was a toddler. It was super light blonde, you know? That's what I mean by that. He looked at peace, he looked just so comfortable. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, I can talk about that later in another video for anybody who hasn't already heard that. But since that time, God has given me three other dreams that have, that have happened um, to me in the past couple of years. Um, 
one, the third one is the most recent, which I had about a week ago. And take these dreams for what they're worth, but I'm just gonna spill them out there. Um, the first dream I had, after that vision, you know, of what my son looks like in heaven, shortly after, maybe a week after, I had this dream of, um, I was outside, it was night, and people were on picnic blankets, just kind of on a hill, um, almost as if you, they were going to watch the 4th of July fireworks or something like that. They had their families out there, it's pitch black, dark outside, had their families on picnic blankets, and they were eating and kind of enjoying the company, and there were several families out there on blankets. And um, I just remember kind of milling around, you know, visiting with some of them, you know, as I was walking, walking around. It almost seemed like it was something like an event I was putting on. I don't know. It just, I was the one running around talking to everybody. Um, so we were all waiting and I remember looking up to the sky and everybody else looking up to the sky it was pitch black outside and there was this huge planet with swirls, just swirling colors throughout. And um, I remember thinking, wow, that's gorgeous. Like it was one of those like kaleidoscopes when you were a kid, a kid, I don't even know if they make them anymore. If they do, they're probably at the dollar store. But you look through them and you know, the colors kind of just shift and, and um, you know, show beautiful shapes and colors. Anyway, this, this planet, which was completely a planet, was huge and it had just these swirling pink, orange, blue, purple, green, just colors swirling and it was live. Like it was just, you know, doing that as it was kind of spinning. Next to it were like three moons, three different moons that were big, but they, the planet was the biggest and then the, the moon next to it was a little, you know, not quite as big and then they got progressively smaller. Um, I didn't know what that was. I thought that's kind of strange because that first planet, which I'm calling a planet because it looked like one, wasn't a moon. But I remember in my dream going around telling these people in excitement, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Look up, the rapture is here. We're going home. And um, that's it. And then the dream ended. I did some research the next day because I woke up and I usually can't remember my dreams, but I remembered this one so vividly. So I woke up the next day, did some research and was like Googling planet with multiple colors, whatever. I mean, just any kind of keyword I could think of. And this Planet X Nibiru thing popped up several, on several occasions. I looked at the picture, I, just, I clicked images, and what I saw in my dream was this Nibiru planet, which I know, I know, people get weird, they don't wanna hear it. It's conspiracy, whatever. I don't know. I don't know if Nibiru's out there floating around. I don't know. All I know is I had this dream, okay? And it felt so real, it was so real. And all I could say was, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, we're going home. Okay, so take that for what it's worth, but I, it got me so excited. Two years later, I can remember every detail about that dream. Dream number two. So this one came, gosh, probably maybe nine months later, 10 months, I don't know, something like that. Okay, I was, um, me, Mike, and Sydney, my sister and her family were all at a, like a, like a bed and breakfast somewhere, but it was really kind of dumpy, kind of dark inside, kind of dumpy. And we're just kind of, you know, walking around, just talking. I was playing with my nieces and nephews. And I remember specifically feeling alone or kind of irritated. Um, I didn't couldn't really pinpoint it, but it almost felt like me and my sister, who I'm really close to, got in, you know, had some kind of a disagreement or something. And I just felt really, kind of, I felt alone. I felt kind of, kind of lonely. And I remember not getting much support from Mike or, or Sid, and I was just kind of feeling bad for myself. And so I went and sat on this back porch in the backyard, looked up and 
just feeling sorry for myself, whatever, looked up into the right in the sky were these big pink, pink purple swirly clouds that just were swirling all over like crazy. It looked like a big impending storm, it was just doom coming. Looked off a little bit up above, kind of to, to the left, and there was a bright star. Mind you, this was springtime. I felt the weather was spring. And um, I just remember feeling, it was in the evening, like right after dinner, and I remember it feeling very warm, spring-like out. And um, I just kind of looked up, it was before sunset, looked up and saw this bright star. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, that's Venus, duh, of course. Okay, I don't study the planets. I don't know the planets. The last time I ever cared or studied planets was probably in fifth grade in science, okay? I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know planets. Venus, it's stuck in my head. Why is that, get that Venus, that star? It's Venus. God says that he gives signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And so, okay, that's Venus. Off to the left of Venus was this little cluster of stars. Um, I can't remember how many, you know, just maybe under 10, I don't know. And they almost looked like they were falling stars, but they weren't falling directly to Earth. They were just kind of up there, suspended in the sky. But this Venus was like almost heading toward this little cluster of stars, but it wasn't quite there yet. And I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, Jesus is coming. This is it, this is the rapture. We're going home. And then my dream ended. But what's interesting about that dream is almost a year later, this sister and I, who I love very much and whatever, you know how sisters, we have our falling out. We had a falling out. Now it wasn't that big of a deal. It's nothing that I'm concerned about. You know, it's nothing. It's, it's just sisters have it, you know? So we had kind of a falling out. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this was my dream. In my dream, we had a falling out. And it was right before I was thinking Jesus was coming. And so it was almost like a time marker. And this falling out happened back in January of this year. And so I'm like, Lord, is this a premonition of, of my dream? Um, anyway, don't worry about me and my sister, we're gonna be fine. But I was actually excited about that. And um, another thing, is I did some research, found out that Venus means bright and morning star, which is another name for Jesus, the Messiah. And as I did further research, this cluster of stars that I saw, which I thought were falling stars from heaven, they are the Pleiades, which like I said, I didn't understand. I don't care about space, but the Pleiades are a cluster of stars that occur, I don't even know how often, just from what I understand, we will see them in April, April 3rd, I think. And Venus is supposed to be right in the center of them. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was interesting. Venus in my dream was not quite in the center of the Pleiades yet, but almost there. So you guys, is this a sign that the Lord is coming before April 3rd? I don't know, I don't know. All I know is I remember these details specifically in this dream was about a year ago and then just to have me and my sister have this falling out in January what's up what's up with that I don't know <laughs> I'm just super excited you guys I think I think the time is drawing near I think I think Jesus is coming back soon I want to get this out and this video is coming close to 15 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off now and post a second one I have one more dream to share and um, I just, usually YouTube doesn't accept a video greater than 15 minutes. So please, please, please watch my next video if you're interested. I know some of you not going to like it. And, and I'm sorry, but God wa I feel like God wants me to share this. So, okay, I'm off. Watch me in the next video if you want to see, want to hear about the next stream.